so this is a prototype of a recumbent seat frame made all from bicycle parts. There are one, two, and three drop handlebars. There are two pieces of frame tubing that are straight, and then two L-shaped pieces of frame tubing that are the top bar attached to the head tube. The, um, the top tubes have all received an insert. The top tubes themselves are an inch and an eighth in outer diameter. And inside of them I have inserted a piece of tubing that is an inch in outer diameter. Its inner diameter is much more closely fitted to the handlebar tubing which fits more snugly with those inserts in. These are two seat tubes in which a one inch diameter tube frame tube has been inserted to make them a tighter fit around handlebar tubing. Two of these. They've been punched at this end all together so they stay put permanently. This will be the back end of the seat. I have put together a mesh seat um, out of uh, truck netting and uh, I've made some channels on the sides to fit the tubing. I tried a simple thing. I cut a slot into the mesh right up to the length of the horizontal part of the tubing so it can insert quite easily. Uh, might not offer as much support as I'd like but I'll see if that works out. So I'm going to insert the other upright, the other seat back support. I've measured carefully enough that it seems to slide easily and carefully enough that the mesh inserts around the seat part somewhat easily enough. There we go. Okay. All right, now I'm going to insert the uprights onto the seat bottom. And one, and two. There we go, these are fitting fairly nicely on. Good. Now I'm inserting the closure at the end of the seat. There we go. And obviously the tops of the seat back need to be braced and let's do it this way and here here is a seat which may or may not work I'm going to have a, going to have a sit now and here we go actually this is pretty darn good Excellent. Now all I have to do is set it up so it actually fits on a frame of some kind. Frame tubing, drop handlebars, truck mesh. Just a note about the uprights on this recumbent seat. Uh, they were the top tube and head tubes of uh, two different bicycles obviously. I made sure to choose them so their angles matched. Um, these are brown tubing bikes so they're from the 90s. I'm sure there's still lots of them around that are being scrapped that you could find for this. 
This is how I've attached the recumbent seat to a device using a square rail. And I've used uh, stem clamps to hold the handlebars serving as cross pieces down onto the rail. The clamps are braced with two thick steel plates that have been bolted uh, through the clamp uh, in two spots and then one spot below the rail which when loosened uh, loosens the whole contraption and allows it to slide back and forth along the rail. <coughs> In the back, the clamp, the stem clamp happens to be uh, a little narrower, so I've used shims to uh, prevent it from locking onto the rail permanently. This is the recumbent seat fitted to a recumbent device. The cranks are lower than the seat, yet uh, the seat offers enough clearance for the lower thighs because the mesh is unsupported and slightly sagging, um, so that there isn't much friction going on there, none at all in fact. And um, yet the seat itself and the back offer sufficient support for a comfortable ride. In fact, it's a good angle. I'm liking it and uh, the back is supported up to about halfway or two-thirds so uh, the seat ends up just under the shoulder blades and uh, seems to work for me thanks for listening